911. I need a deputy to come to my house. What's going on? My husband has committed suicide. October 2016, Heidi Harper returning home from EMT training. I don't know. I came home and he's sitting in the garage. Um, he, oh, I can't touch him on the phone. I can't go in there. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It was a Thursday night, her four children upstairs sleeping. He doesn't have a pulse. Heidi, what's please. his name? His name is Jesse. Jesse Peterson, a husband and father. He ended his life in our garage while our four children slept inside the house. A sheriff's deputy for 17 years. At the service, there were a lot of deputies that went up to my children and would get down on their knees and tell my kids, you know, I know your daddy's gone, but you still have a dad and all of us here at the sheriff's office. After the casket was closed, they were gone. Not one phone call, not one letter in one year. It's their own uncomfortableness that they know very well it could be them. Um, by the grace of God, their doorsteps haven't been darkened by this, this hell and they don't know what to say. Heidi Harper is not alone. She was among five widows sharing their stories at a national conference on cop suicide in Sturbridge. I'm here by, because I'm angry. Um, I'm really angry. I'm angry Janice about, McCarthy's husband, Paul, was a Massachusetts state trooper. I'm angry about the policies and the lack of policies that were in place when Paul died. I'm angry about the day that they handed me his wallet and his badge in a ripped paper bag. Suicide is not considered a line of duty death, leaving most families cut off immediately from pensions, death benefits, life, and health insurance. The day that he died, they immediately shut off my health insurance. I also lost my health insurance with four month old twins. I lost mine in 10 days after his, and I didn't find out until four days before mine was going to be shut off. After hearing one story from a widow, it just, um, I just decided we needed to do something. Karen Solomon is the wife of a current Worcester police officer. You know, somebody here said my partner had a heart attack and that was caused by the job. Well, it's, it, that's a line of duty death, right? So why isn't the, the trauma to your mind? Her nonprofit, Blue Health, keeps track of police suicides. 93 have died by suicide nationwide so far this year, eight of them in Massachusetts but the website is filled with pictureless profiles. And that's how this came about. It was just really because um, it was just the right thing to do. And some of them don't want their faces. No, no they're not ready. Is it because of the stigma? Absolutely. It's, it's the stigma. It's the shame that they feel is attached to it. It's the fact that they've been shunned by their friends, their family, their departments because of suicide. They spend their careers putting up the yellow tape, shielding us from what they see decades of what they see eventually becoming the price they pay. So recently an officer reached out for help. He needed some psychological help and, and his department fired him. And so th there's another officer on that department right now who is also suicidal and we have been getting him help and he will not tell his department because he does not want to lose his job. While they're protecting us, who's protecting them? Were you able to find a pulse? On your heart. I don't feel a pause at all. His name is Jesse. Jesse. Jesse Peterson.